So in this video, we're going to look at proving by induction that 6 to the n plus 4 is divisible by 5. So in a very similar way uh, to how we did the previous example, we're going to start with our first step of prove true for n equals 1. So we're going to have 6 to the 1 plus 4, which is 6 plus 4, which is 10, of course which is 5 times 2. So which is divisible by 5. OK, so the first statement is proven to be true. Now we're going to assume true for n equals k. So 6 to the k plus 4 would have to be equal to five lots of some number a, where a uh, is a positive integer. OK, so that is my assumption stage. Step number three, we need to prove that it's true for n equals k plus 1. So substituting the n for k plus 1, we get 6 to the k plus 1 plus 4. Now, uh, following through the same methodology that we used in the previous video, I'm going to use my index knowledge to split that apart. So that's 6 to the k times 6 to the 1. And then we've still got that plus 4 on the end. So this is 6 lots of 6 to the k plus 4. Now, I know that I've assumed in step 2 that 6 to the k plus 4 is 5a. So if I subtract the 4 from both sides, if this statement is true, then that statement must be true also. And if that's true, I can substitute that in for my 6 to the k. So I've got 6 lots of 5a take away 4 plus 4. So I want to show that that's divisible by 5. So I'm going to expand that bracket out. Now, in so doing, I can get that 6 lots of 5a. I know that's 30a, but instead, I'm going to write that as 5 lots of 6a. And the reason is I want to show clearly that it is divisible by 5. Then I've got this 6 lots of minus 4. Well, that's minus 24. And I've got that plus 4 in the end. So 5 lots of 6a and minus 24 plus 4 is minus 20. So then I can factor the 5 out of the whole thing here, can't I? Because I then have 6a take away 4. And clearly, that's divisible by 5. So, I've proved by induction that that statement, 6 to the n plus 4, is, is divisible by 5. OK? So our concluding statements, so as true, oh, if I could write it, here we go, let's try that again, as true for n equals 1, and if true for n equals k, then we've shown it's true um, for n equals k plus 1. So it must be true for all n greater than or equal to 1, for all positive integers n. OK? And so that is our proof by induction.